The city's near east side has spoken with one voice with a strong message of wanting to overcome its many challenges. That part of Indianapolis is now taking the first steps in a 10 year project aimed at overcoming crime, unemployment, and high rates of poverty. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt joins us now from the near east side with more details on this. Jack. Well, Todd, the near east side of Indianapolis is the only place in the entire state of Indiana to have the designation of Promise Zone, and it demonstrates a commitment by the neighborhood and the federal government to remake this area into a viable place to live and work. The challenges of the Near East Side are dawning. Home to almost 18,000 people, nearly half live below the poverty level, and one in four residents don't have jobs. The neighborhood-driven Promise Zone has a 10-year goal of improving the poverty and unemployment rate, but also economic development, education, and public safety. All of the five goals are all tied together, and they work together. I think public safety is often a perception goal and so it's difficult to bring in new businesses or new homeowners if there's a perception that the area is not safe. Of the 22 neighborhoods of the Near East Side, fully 10 of them have vacant, abandoned and blighted housing. St. Clair Place, which has rehabbed nearly 80 homes over the past five years, has become the blueprint for developing low to moderate to marketplace housing. The Promise Zone designation will give the Near East Side an advantage to leverage grants for future development. So the Opportunities are there for low-income families, low-income households, but they're also there uh, for folks that are uh, at a different place in, in their life at this point. The Near East Side has an eye towards developing a healthy commercial corridor that provides neighborhood goods and services while at the same time providing meaningful employment for area residents. You drive around here and you see them. A lot of places are boarded up, which, you know, scares, can scare some people away. Uh, you get those areas moving, then, you know, businesses can come in and that's, you know, the, the, which bring in money and uh, obviously help improve uh, the city around it. Now, the Promise Zone doesn't come with any promise of federal funds, but it does com come with a commitment from Washington insiders to put this neighborhood on the fast track towards getting federal funding. And the neighborhood, it believes, uh, will use that 10 years to try and cut the unemployment rate and the poverty rate by half. Reporting live on the Near East Side, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.